Sini National Wildlife Refuge recently wrapped up their season for having visitors. Usually this new season is their quiet time of the year, but some major projects will keep the area quite busy. Sini National Wildlife Refuge Manager Sarah Sikursky says there are four major projects they'll be working on. A bridge's water control structures repair, show pool site rehabilitation, Pine Ridge Nature Trail improvement, and their biggest one, the visitor center replacement and enhancement. That's going to be located on the site of the current visitor center. And so we just started this fall, the demolition of the existing visitor center so that we can start to make room for the new building that will go on the same site, but will also hold our office uh, facilities that currently are in a separate building uh, in that same general area. So we'll be reconfiguring the parking lot, making sure we can continue to grow with our visitor needs and, under, and um, better providing parking and recreational access to the trails. These infrastructure projects are being made possible through the Great American Outdoor Act that was passed, um, which was some bipartisan legislation. And so we got um, funding through that, through that uh, opportunity. And then we also used uh, some federal highway dollars for parts of the projects. Between the federal highway and the GOA funding, it's about uh, 12 and a half million dollars for all four initiative projects. While this is a chance to continue the refuge for years to come, Sikursky says she wants people to know that they are making efforts to make this a smooth transition for the wildlife there and preserve the history that has been there since the refuge began in 1935. We're looking at energy efficiency. We're looking at you know bird-friendly windows. We're looking at certification for dark skies, trying to protect our, um, when we get parking lot, lot parking lot lights, making sure that they're not, you know, ruining our night sky opportunities, which I think the UP is well known for, um, as well as how that can affect and influence wildlife. Um, so, and also, I just folks understand that we're, we are trying to honor our past and that, you know, there's sentimental attachment to all of these buildings and infrastructure, and we don't want to lose a piece of that history. For more information on the project, you can visit our website, upmatters.com.